and we're ready and we are set for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It's round 19, it's lights out and away we go. Bottas gets away well ahead of Verstappen, but Verstappen is coming back at him and Lando Norris touches and he's got a puncture on his rear left tyre as he clashed with a Ferrari. Verstappen takes the lead, he squeezed out Valtteri Bottas going through turn two. Perez is in third, then comes the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc as we head down the retro poster now and he's getting a decent slipstream. It's Charles Leclerc but he's been forced over to the left hand side as Verstappen leads from Bottas from Perez, Leclerc and then Sainz and Bottas the two Ferraris wide. go wide and Bottas as well. Bottas wide, it's a Red Bull 1-2 there so uh, but somehow they all made it through there. Sadly for Lando Norris he's got the entire lap to go with a puncture. Hamilton is up to seventh we saw him through Ferradura passing there Pierre Gasly. Yeah, I could do nothing no, for example there. Oh God, Yuki Sonoda going down the inside, but there just wasn't the space, and that's a lot of bodywork coming off there. Uh, he was not looking at all. So, you know, that, the cars in turn one. That was Valtteri slowing down and obeying those team orders. Yes, and he had to slow down a lot, didn't he? And Mick Schumacher's got a problem. Oh, there it goes. Is it still on the car? It's like under the car, I think. Little touch gets Ooh. a bit trigger happy with the throttle, and that's where the the wing's gone. And he's just trying to break the slipstream now, moving around a lot, probably a bit too much, if the truth be known. And there's Hamilton, but trying to go down the outside. Is he going to sweep through? Can he keep it on the road? He can. He's done it. Hamilton, who's been making a habit of going down the inside into turn one, this time dances around the outside, and he has done it. He's cleared Sergio Perez, who's got now DRS to try and fight his way back. They're going to go wheel to wheel into Cedo De Largo, and Sergio Perez repasses Lewis Hamilton and reclaims that second place. Which way is Lewis Hamilton going to go? To the left, to the right, it's going to be to the right, it's going to be round the outsides, and for the second lap, running the crowd, cheer as Lewis Hamilton passes Sergio Perez. This time around, he looks a bit further ahead yep. through the Curva del Sol to try and stay ahead. As Hamilton's pitting. He is indeed. Hamilton is pitting, and Mercedes are pitting him early to go onto the hard compound tyre and be aggressive and put pressure on the Red Bull team. So they need a clean stop, they got a clean stop, 2.4 seconds. And of course, Red Bull will have to cover that. Lewis's outlap now is all about, and he's got Ricardo in front of him. He's down at Jim Sal at the moment. Perez is now told to box, uh, lest Valtteri Bottas gets past him. Perez does box, Bottas continues on and leads this race. More debris coming off uh, the Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. Bottas is coming into the pits. Cheap stop for him, isn't it? Very cheap stop. How is this going to work out for him? Well, it's going to get him ahead of Sergio Perez. That is for sure. Well, this is going to be fascinating now to see what lap times Verstappen and Hamilton can put together. Red Bull have stopped before Mercedes. Ooh. Oh, and that is not going to help Verstappen as out of the pits comes Nicholas Latifi right ahead of the Red Bull. That will slow him down as they get onto the track. The hard tyres going on for Bottas. They are leaving Hamilton out longer. Now Perez is coming in. So the only one of the top four to stay out for a few laps longer is Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton then comes in to his pit stop. No, no, I asked him to... comes Hamilton on Max Verstappen down towards turn one Verstappen moved and, and cut out any possibility of an overtake down the inside yeah but Hamilton will get another helping of the DRS down this back straight there it goes and um, crucially Martini is closer than he was on the previous lap and here goes Lewis Hamilton he was last at the start of the sprint he's trying to take the lead from Verstappen but he is forced wide by Verstappen and Verstappen himself has to go off the track did Verstappen drive Hamilton off the track? He didn't, he didn't run into him, but no. uh, Mercedes will think that. Michael, that is all about letting them race. That's all about letting them race. So there's apparently no investigation necessary for running you off track. Of course, sir. Of course. 
let, let's let's see what happens here. Just wondering if it's not been working out. Do Mercedes try anything different? But it is working out at this moment in time. Verstappen is weaving all over the road, and he's going to force Hamilton wide again. And Hamilton can't quite get past on the entry into turn four. Thought for one moment about the old switcheroo there. Force Verstappen a little bit deeper. Cut through on the inside. Didn't happen for him. Battle resume. And he's got a better exit. Hamilton with a much better exit down to turn four. I said it's a third time lucky. Hamilton pulls ahead of Verstappen before they get to the corner. The crowd go absolutely wild. It is third time lucky for Lewis Hamilton. He was 20th and last on the grid for the sprint here on lap 59 of the Grand Prix. He has gone from last all the way to first. What a drive this has been from Lewis Hamilton this weekend. Guess what they're doing with Sergio Perez, Martin. <laughs> it's, it's almost like you've got uh, an inner sixth sense link to the Red Bull strategy team. <laughs> Soft tyres go on for Sergio Perez. It's a bid then for the fastest lap in this race. Lewis Hamilton now has the chequer flag in sight for his 101st win. Hamilton, against the odds, has come home to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. What a victory for Lewis Hamilton. He's not ready to loosen his grip on that championship trophy. Not just yet. And with three races to go, is it very much game on? Back at the top. And we look to see what Sergio Perez is doing. He's going for that fastest lap. He was fourth, he remains fourth, but he goes fastest with a 1.11.0. We move on then to Qatar. In a week's time, after a hugely eventful weekend here at Interlagos, there's something about this place. It just makes history, it makes stories, it makes memories. And Hamilton's memories that has started out looking rather grim on the first couple of days will be full of smile and joy. He wins the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, closes the gap at the top as we head off to the next round in seven days' time.